Welcome to this war of mine, or maybe more accurately, welcome back to this war of mine, because the base game came out in 2014 and I played it around that time on my channel back then, about five years ago. Really loved it. And surprisingly, they've been working on some DLC for this game almost five years after release. Really wouldn't have expected that, but I'm glad to see it because I loved it. So what I'm going to be playing here is not the base game, but actually the third and final DLC called Fading Embers. They're all individual story-based DLCs, so like a little mini scenarios with different people, different locations. It feels kind of weird to start with a third DLC, but they are self-contained, and I just happened to get a press key for the third one, so I figured why not start with it. So let's jump into it. Um, oh, I should explain, if you're not familiar with this War of Mine at all, just a very brief summary. It's a survival game where you're just a civilian living in a place that's besieged in wartime. So everything is just desperate and violent and you're just fortifying yourself down and trying to survive while war rages on outside. It's a very brutal and unforgiving game. So let's begin this War of Mine stories. Gonna be playing Fading Embers. Um, gonna start a new game, I guess, is it Choose Episode? Yeah, gonna save over my current progress. I played it for just a tiny bit, just to familiarize myself a bit with the controls and all that, since it has been about five years since I played the base game. Goran siege, by Senes gathered in the city were under constant attack. The Grozny army that surrounded the city had ordered targeted attacks to break the citizens' spirit. The military aimed at specific facilities and places of cultural and religious value to the Vicenni people. Despite great danger, some were willing to risk everything in order to protect and save their heritage. This is a story about those who tried. Somebody, help! Please, help me! My god, what happened to you? Let's get you inside. Day one.
A harsh winter grips Pagorin, making life in the besieged city even more difficult. People are trying to survive in the face of constant shelling, sniper fire, and starvation, but now also have to endure the extreme cold. Anja was struggling every day to deal with those hardships, when a man, dying from gunshot wounds and the cold, collapsed at her doorstep. She took him in without hesitation, hoping that one day he would get better and tell her what happened to him. Okay, here we go. I'm going to pause the game because time does pass, and quite quickly, too. So, yeah, time passes each day. You have a limited amount of time to get the things done that you need to do. Things like eat, take medicine, find supplies so you can keep eating and taking medicine. Trying to collect water and uh, find things to like fix up your shelter and improve the heating. and Yeah, just stuff like that. Going on scavenging missions is the main way that you get more supplies. So let's look at the description for these two people. So we got Anja. This is their place here that the, the man stumbled upon. Even before this war started, the life of an orphan was not easy. My parents died when I was just a little child, so I was raised by my grandpa. He was a great mentor, a local Viceni artist who taught me everything I know about life and art. Since he passed away, I had to learn how to live and survive on my own. He left me with a small family collection that brings back memories of better days and gives me a ray of hope for tomorrow. And then Stranger, we don't even know their name yet. A man collapsed on Anja's doorstep, dying from gunshot wounds in the cold. He's unconscious at the moment, but from time to time, Anja can hear single words escaping his mouth. Whatever he dreams of must be truly horrifying. No, do not end the day. <laughs> you can force end the day if you have nothing else you want to do. So this is our things, which right now is nothing. This house has always been my home and a shelter for several generations of my family. Hopefully it can withstand the war. And then this, the thing below it is pretty much uh, stating the general life things that we lack. Like we lack chairs, for example. And we could use an armchair. We have one bed, but we could use more. It's hard to get a good night's sleep on hard, cold concrete. We don't have a radio, so we don't know what's going on in the city. So that's all stuff we should be working towards. So I can switch over to the stranger, but I can't actually do anything with them because they're a stranger and we don't know their name and they're sleeping. He's getting worse. His forehead is burning hot with fever, and he's shivering all the time. This is their belongings. Yeah, stranger's backpack. It's the stranger's backpack. I'm not going to paw through his stuff, but I noticed some religious items inside. A prayer shawl, a decorated candle, and something else. I think these might be of great value to him. I think I can zoom in a little bit. Yeah. That's all the stuff we have in the fridge, which is nothing. This is where we can make some stuff, but I think, uh... Well, yeah, we don't have anything on us at all. What do we got here? We can, like, rummage around in this pile for stuff. Tiny bit of water and some just general components. Yeah, I feel like I should close the door. Don't know if it matters, but I don't want to leave it open. I don't want the heat to get out. Door is locked, but I, uh, but I have something that can take care of that. I do. Somewhere else in the house. Um, if you, ha I think if you have like a pry bar or something, you can pry locked things open. Stuff you don't have the key for. This is where medicine would be if we had medicine. We don't. Oh, there's a little bit of food there. Sugar, water, weapon parts, parts. I guess the... Ooh. In this extremely cold winter, our struggle for survival seems harder than ever. 
We need to constantly check the temperature and keep the heater working to make sure we don't freeze to death overnight. If we manage to keep the temperature above 10 degrees, we should be alright. It's 8. That's not above 10. <laughs> uh, I don't have anything to burn, but I could add more fuel to it if I did. This is to upgrade it. If I had the components, I don't. I think that's it for in here, right? Oh, the food automatically goes into the fridge. But it's also on our person at the same time. Hmm, it says it's edible, but would be more nutritious when cooked. Do we have a stove? I mean, we have the heater stove up there. I don't think that would work, though. I don't think I was able to use it. Oh, I can give them the food. Um. Uh. Very hungry. Yeah, they're very hungry. We're not. So let's let's give it to them. No, 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 not that. That one. You really should eat something. There you go, buddy. Still very hungry. Yeah, it wasn't that much food. I didn't know I could move the camera kind of independently. Oh, it's interesting. Okay, maybe there's some tools on the property? Oh, what is this? Oh, we can just collect snow at any time, and if we can melt it, then we can drink it. That makes sense. The more I collect, though, the more time it's going to take. So I don't want to collect it for no reason. And right now, I have no reason. Let's just continue to get stuff. Shell casings, components, clean water, wood, gunpowder. Grandpa's old workshop. Somewhere I haven't been in a while. So many memories. And there's the toy Aurochs. He sculpted it for me. Oh, that's when they were a little kid. Grandpa, you know, when I grow up, I'm going to be an artist, just like you. <laughs> I bet you are. Great talent runs in your veins. And you've got a lot of passion, that's for sure. Are you laughing at me, Grandpa? Oh, Hanja, I wouldn't even dare. Actually, I've got something for you. Come, take a look. What did you sculpt? Is that a horse? Almost. It's a Vicenian Aurochs. Have you ever seen one of those before? No, but I think I've read about it in one of your books. Those uh, Aurochs used to live around Pagorin, right? Oh yes, on the steep slopes of the Vicenian Mountains. They used to guide and protect our people for ages. Then they became a symbol of our freedom. Here, take it. Can I keep it? Yes, it's yours now. But you have to take care of it. Just like the Aurochs took care of Vicenius in the past. That was really sweet. Anja's family were collecting objects of art in this shed for decades. Among them are unique examples of local Vicenni art and personal memorabilia of great sentimental value to Anja, and the last material reminders of her past. Oh, what is this list of exhibits? Hmm? Oh no! We can look at all these beautiful 
priceless artifacts and turn them into wood and stuff if we need to, if we're so desperate that we have to. Oh, that's brutal. That's so sad. Wooden aurochs. A limewood sculpture of an aurochs, the legendary Vicenian symbol. It was carved for Anja by her grandfather when she was a little girl. This is the most cherished piece in her collection and a reminder of a happy childhood spent with her grandpa. I can't get rid of that. I, I'm not sure exactly what the effect would be, but if, I think if people lose things that are significant to them, they won't be as liable to, I, I don't know, I guess want to keep going, you know? Our home painting. A watercolor painting of Anja's family house. It was painted by her mother long before Anja was even born. It remains as one of the rare mementos Anja has left after her mother passed away. Memory of Ages Sculpture An abstract sculpture carved by Anja's grandfather from a block of oak. In this series of sculptures, he wanted to combine nature... M motives? Motifs? With contemporary trends. Anja's necklace. So this can't be turned into fuel. Could this be sold? A golden necklace that was passed between the women of the family for generations. Anja's mother was supposed to give it to her daughter on her 18th birthday, but was never given the chance. Father's watch. A Swiss watch that belonged to Anja's father. It was a reward that he received from Pagorn's mayor for his special contributions as a city planner. He thought the style of watch didn't suit a modest man like him, but kept it hidden and safe as insurance for a rainy day. Oh, I think we have a growing operation down here. Yeah, we can try to grow our own food. I remember that was a thing. A lockpick. Single use. Guess the temperature could be a little higher, but it's okay. You talking about the plants, or was that just... That was just the general temperature. Ah, I see. Okay, so to plant anything, we first need to make fertilizer from food. Either from, like, vegetables, like you see in that icon, or from, I guess, meat. I guess pretty much any type of food can become a fertilizer. And then if you combine a fertilizer with a bunch of clean water, you can make things like vegetables and herbs. And do you see it says how long? One hour plus 72 hours. So I think that's one hour to plant it all, and then 72 hours for it to finish growing. Herbs take a bit less. Various herbs that can be used to make herbal medications and roll up cigarettes. Oh, okay, so that's not even for eating, really. Not for food, anyway. So yeah, we can't do anything with that yet. Oh, and there's some fertilizer. Okay, well, let's get some going. Let's make vegetables. So this is the point where if you had more people in your shelter, you would switch to someone else to do some other things. But, I mean, there's nothing I can do. I can't even get up. So, just gotta wait it out. It's about 3 p.m. I wonder if I'm gonna be going out today or not. So now we just wait. As the collection grew, Anja's grandpa expanded his workshop to accommodate more works of art. I feel like I should close the door. I really don't think it matters, but... Stranger needs drugs. Yes, they do. Um... Our thing. I think stuff that you collect in the base just goes to a communal pile of stuff you can work with. I don't think there's any limit to how much you can hold here, but when we go scavenging, there will of course be a limit 
of how much we can take with us. Can it make anything of use at this point? Hmm, I can actually make quite a few things. I can make another bed. It's always useful. The uh, chair is good for relaxation. I could make uh Is this a better heater? We can prepare fuel for it using wood books or various components. You have one. Oh yeah, we already have one. So I guess you could make multiple. I wonder if there's any advantage in particular to making multiple simple heaters rather than just like stoking the one that you have? I don't know. Ooh, radio would be good. That's important. It'd be great to listen to current news and weather forecasts. We could be better prepared to deal with hardships if we knew about them well in advance. When there's nothing on the news, we can listen to music and brighten up our mood. Yeah, I think I want that. Rainwater collector. That doesn't feel as important, given that we can just melt snow, but that might be really laborious, melting snow. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that works out. Moonshine still, metal workshop, let's not worry about those. Mm, yeah, this, this is what we need to cook food. Make a filter. Can make fuel out of various things, components, wood. Let's make the radio. Drag to place on empty destination. Oh. Um, oh, right. It's just like basically choose a couple nodes for it to be in. Kind of like one in each small room or maybe a couple if it's a big room like this. You don't have like super granular placement over it. Um, well, it should be somewhere convenient. So probably on the ground floor. Hope all my tinkering doesn't wake up the, str the stranger. <laughs> it's pretty chilly here. Yeah, I should go stoke the fire, but let's listen to this first. There are shortages of water throughout the city. If you melt snow for water, make sure to boil it before drinking. Mmm. So is it possible to drink it without doing that? And screw yourself over? I would assume so. Can I get different things if I go back? No. We'll get different things on different days. Okay. Um, we need like five fuel, four fuel to stoke the thing. Let's make some. Let's use wood. That makes sense, doesn't it? I'll do five because I don't remember exactly how many I need. There we go. Let's stoke the fire. I guess I can use my lockpick probably to um, open up that blocked thing we have. I guess you could either bash it open or use a lockpick on it. I'm running out of time, which is worrying me. Just three? <laughs> oh, that's how many are in it. Not how many it needs. Whoa. Just popped up automatically. Plan the night. Mm, let's see. The stranger, your job is sleep in bed. <laughs> it's the only job they can have. So we can choose what we want people to do. Right? Like we could just guard the place. Just sleep. Scavenge. We're definitely going to have to scavenge. And plus we're in good condition right now. So might as well use that to... Get supplies, you know? So, we can either go to neighbor's house or construction site. Right? Is... No? I think we have to go to neighbor's house. Because when I select the other things, it doesn't change the name on the top right. Uh, a little bit confusing, but yeah, I think we have to go to neighbor's house. There's going to be some materials, lots of weapons, whoa, and lots of parts. All right, prepare. So I have 11 spaces in total. Yeah, the inventory system is based on slots, not weight. So it's all about like stacking things. I mean, the only thing that makes sense to bring, I think, is just a lockpick. Right, like, I don't need crafting components there. I think the only reason I would want to take something like this is if I wanted to trade with somebody. Okay. Let's go. Hope I can find some medicine. 
Based on the list of expected things there, though, it didn't sound likely. If I press B, I just run to exit. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, if you want to get out super, super fast, you can just press B and then your character will just run automatically. There's also combat mode. Yeah, war is not a playground. Sometimes the situation will force you to get into a fight. You can meet people who will be hostile towards you. Remember that you are not defenseless. Combat mode. Right trigger to attack. Uh, can't attack right now, though. Okay. So let's scavenge. Just gonna take everything and only worry about not taking everything if I'm full. Gotta be fast. Ooh. Ooh, see that red little thing up there above us on the next floor? That indicates that, like, somebody's, I guess, walking there or stepping there or making noise. They said Tito or whatever. Are you home? So this is a neighbor's house, so... Like... Maybe I shouldn't steal all their shit, and we should go up and just say hi? Tito, is everything alright? So cold. Anja, is that you? Please, I need your help. I need something to heat my place. I've already burnt everything I had. I'm running out of fuel too, but I'll try to figure something out. You could visit the Samuel Institute. There are good folks working there. They're helping our community and used to help me from time to time. But I haven't seen them for a while. I hope nothing happened to them. I'll see what I can do. Please, if you don't find anything. I know you're collecting things in your shed and I know I shouldn't ask, but... Maybe you could spare some things from this collection? It's a matter of life and death at this point. I need some fuel for my heater or freeze to death. I'm not feeling well and I've already burned all I had. Need six fuel. Okay. Give me a sec. Tito's vinyl records. Set of vinyl records. Tito, a true music enthusiast, collected many unique records over the years. The music of these long out of print albums remind him of better times before the war. That's something special. How much time before I have to be back? Um, that like hand reaching into a thing that looks like it's like reaching for a diamond, I think that means that that's considered stealing. Because we're trying to help him, right? So, uh, uh, no, this way. So let's go outside. We're not going to take stuff from inside. Lock's pretty simple, should be able to open it. Alright, let's use our lock pick. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly how much time we have. Do you have, like, a workbench I can use to make you fuel, or... How does this work? Okay, looking through rubble, even though it's kind of in their house, isn't considered ceiling. I have... a lot of components. If I find a workbench, I should be able to make all the fuel they need. Like, can I go home, make stuff, and then come back here? Okay, so I'm out of space for these. So I should drop some things. Like shell casings, meh. I don't think I need this many components. I absolutely want the fertilizer. The electric parts also, I think, are sort of rare-ish. Can't fit 
the gun parts, but that's fine. Yeah, so how do I make stuff? Do, do I have to leave and come back? Where even is their heater? I guess I just give it to them and don't really, like, do that. Maybe I can come back the next day? I assume so? If not, I just really messed that up. <laughs> day two. It's getting very cold. It might be difficult to gather enough fuel for Tito. Okay, so yeah, it is like an ongoing quest. This night was calm. Donja has had been searching for supplies and brought some interesting things. 32 components, blah, blah, blah. Fertilizer. Good stuff. Stranger is barely moving. This illness is killing him. So I assume before I find medicine, they can't move. Yep. Can't move him. Do we need more fuel up here in this thing? Oh, actually, even if I do need more fuel, I'd have to actually craft it. So uh, let's just see what we can craft. Like a bed would be nice. Stove would definitely be nice. I don't actually have any food to do anything with right now, though. I mean, I would need this even just to melt water, though. Let's make it. This also should be in a convenient place. So I guess the most convenient I can make it is just on the second floor. Put it in the bathroom? That's weird. Let's not. Let's put it over here. Yeah, so now I can make cooked food on it. If I had a food. Mm. I can make clean water using snow, some fuel, and a filter. Some relatively clean water. Does that still need to be boiled? Or is this just... Does the whole thing all in one go? Okay, well, let's make some fuel. I'm going to need that for Tito, if nothing else. I'll make eight. That's that's fine. I'm going to need some for Tito and for me. Then I think I want to get some water boiling. All done. Let's make a filter. Yeah, it just takes three components. That's no big deal. Let's go get some snow. Whoa. Someone's at the door. Why did they back away like that? That's awfully suspicious, isn't it? Hi. Glad to see you alive and well. You must be Anja. Am I right? Well, I am, but who are you? Oh, sorry. You might not remember me. My name is Milena. I was a friend of your family back in the day. Last time we met, you were just a little child. Forgive me, but I don't know you. What brings you here? I'm in charge of the Pagorn Museum. I'm trying to save our heritage for the future. I'm gathering pieces of our culture scattered across the shelled city. Sounds like something my grandpa would approve of. I guess you really had to be friends. Oh yes, and I know that he assembled a nice collection of our local art. Do you still have some of those pieces? Our family collection. Yes, I inherited it after my grandpa passed away. I'm trying to keep it safe, but that's not easy these days. Oh, I'm sure. That's what brings me here. I'd like to help you save it. Let me know if you need anything. Actually, I'm taking care of a wounded man. 
He badly needs medicine and food. Okay, I'll be passing by soon. I'll see what I can do. Just please try to secure your family collection. I'll do my best, Malena. Man, at first I thought that was super shady, but I guess it's fine. Uh, right. Snow. I think I just need one, right? But, I mean, it doesn't take much time. Let's just... Let's just get a decent amount. Snow gotten. Um, I have everything I need to melt it, right? Yeah. So that's going to produce four water for one snow and one filter and one fuel. Pretty cheap on fuel. I think the filters are going to be probably the biggest issue. Let's make another filter. I want some more water so I can plant more plants. Okay, more of that. Um, it's getting pretty cold in here. Let's go check the fire up here. Make sure it's stoked. Yeah, it's got a bit. Have to keep the heater fully stoked. Yeah, six is max, okay. What I don't know is, does keeping it stoked simply make it last longer? Or does it actually make it warmer, you know? Like, I guess, realistically, if you actually did that, it would make it warmer, of course, but... You know, it's a game. <laughs> Alright, let's go check our plants, plant some more fertilizer. Oh, radio. Still the same. Tito needs fuel to heat his house. I know. Wish I could make them grow faster, but I can't. Oh, we can only grow one thing at one time, so I have to wait till I can even make any more. All right. We have nine water, that's all right. We have five fuel, didn't they need six fuel? So I should make some more. I've used up most of my components, let's make it from wood this time. I think it was six, and I have six, so I'll just go with that. <laughs> Seems to consistently be one degree below what a good temperature, safe temperature is. It's always like nine, not ten. Oh. Yeah, so because we haven't eaten or slept, because we're out scavenging, now Anja is hungry and tired. So where can we can where can we go? Tito recommended going to the Samuel Institute. But, I have the fuel that I need to give them. I don't need to go to the Samuel Institute. Yeah, I think I actually could have gone to the construction site before. I just need to press prepare whenever I select it. It doesn't switch over. When you simply highlight it, you have to press prepare. I'm going to go to the neighbor's house, though. They need fuel or they're going to die. Uh, so I guess I'm just going to take the fuel. Wait, what? Oh, Jesus Christ, I thought the fuel disappeared, it's just further down. <laughs> I think that's the only thing worth taking. Yeah. Okay, let's go.
So yeah, you can do things if you're in a more hostile area like this, like peek inside. Kind of see into the room a little bit. No point in doing it here, really, but... Oh, Ancha, please tell me that you brought some fuel. Yes. Thank you. You're saving my life here. I know it wasn't easy to gather fuel and bring it here. Please, take some things from my desk. I know it's not much, but that's all I have left. I don't do it for the reward, but I'll try to help you. I hope you'll get better. Thank you. I thought it was done for. Good luck, buddy. So we're going to take this. Yeah, take... Yeah, let's take them. Something special. I wonder if that's something I should sell or something that'll improve morale back at base. I don't know. I assume it's still considered stealing to, like, raid their fridge. Yeah. It is, but there is a couple components that I left behind, right? Because I didn't have room for them. Unfortunately, though, I think I'm going to come away from here with very little. Because there's not that much left over. it. There's nothing else I can take that isn't stealing. Glad you're feeling better. Is there anything else you need? Uh, if you have some vegetables to share, I'd be very grateful. Alright, I'll see what I can do. They need one food. Alright, I'll try to help you out. I don't even have any food myself, though. I mean, if they don't have any food, does that mean they don't even have any food in their own fridge? Private property. Yeah, they don't have food, just herbs and I guess sugar is food, kinda. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna leave. Let's test out the B button, the run to exit. It works. I don't think there's any benefit to leaving to come back early, as far as I know. So you might as well stay if you can, I think. Ah, day three. Oh, I just saw them up. Horrible times. Everyone is constantly hungry and cold. The stranger regained consciousness. Great, so I can now I can control them too. The stranger woke up today from his tormented sleep. He's conscious. The stranger looks like he didn't sleep all night. Something must be troubling him. Anja has been searching for supplies and brought some interesting things. Not much, but something. Okay. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to continue on day three.